Hi, I'm Emma Schultz and you're watching The W. The European Union met in Brussels and approved the relocation of 120,000 refugees across Europe, which led to tension among neighboring countries. Nations such as the Czech Republic, Hungary, Romania and Slovakia voted against the plan. According to Fox News, the Czech government earlier warned that attempt to approve relocation plan would backfire for the EU and could end in big ridicule for its members and officials. A Twitter post from the Luxembourg mission to the European Union said the decision was made by a large majority of the EU's 28 state members. German minister Thomas de Maizière said his country would accept more than 30,000 immigrants and that around 50% of those who arrived in Greece were moving to Germany. The crisis started when approximately 12 million Syrians were forced from their homes, half of which are children. At least 7.6 million have been displaced within Syria, and more than 4 million have fled as refugees in neighboring countries. About 51% of the refugees are from Syria, the UN Refugee Agency says. Children affected by the Syrian conflict are at risk of becoming ill, malnourished, abused, or exploited, and millions have been forced to quit school. Since the beginning of the crisis, World Vision, a Christian humanitarian organization dedicated to working with children, families, and their communities worldwide, has helped more than 2 million people in Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, and Iraq. 7.5 million Syrian children inside and outside the country are in need of humanitarian aid. Because of this, Syria is now the world's biggest producer of both internally displaced people and refugees. Having already lost their homes, schools, and communities, their chances of building a future may also soon be lost. Human rights groups say President Obama's opening bid of accepting 10,000 Syrian refugees next year is far too timid in the face of humanitarian catastrophe playing out in the Middle East. According to Washington Times, Mr. Obama last week acknowledged the crisis as not just a European problem, it's a world problem but suggested the solution lies in a better response to the pressures that have been pushed more than 4 million Syrians to flee their homes. I interviewed Mr. Sheehan, a U.S. history teacher from Westlake High School, for his opinion on this ever-growing crisis. President Obama stated that he would allow some Syrian refugees to emigrate to the United States. Do you agree with that? Um, I don't agree with the incredibly small number, mm -hmm. only 7,500. Okay. when Germany, a significantly smaller country, is allowed almost a million. Do you think the United States would benefit from allowing the refugees to live here? Why or why not? Um, the United States has, has always benefited from our entire history from letting immigrants in. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem is the fear, same fear that was around in World War II, um, that these German Jews would infiltrate our society and uh, to the benefit of Germany, which, which was you know, out of, out of two million, you know, there's already a problem with radicalizing uh, American. Yeah. You know, not even all Muslims. Nations such as the Czech Republic, Hungary, and Lo Romania, and Slovakia voted against the plan. Why do you think they chose to make that decision? Um, first and foremost, they're, they're not getting enough aid from the European Union. Um, they have they kind of have a hard time dealing with it. Mm -hmm. Also, these are really heterogeneous societies. They're not accustomed to diversity. Like even in the eastern part of Germany, they're against it. But, but there's, there's, there's no mix. They haven't had any immigration. Um, and a lot of the people aren't e don't even want to settle in any of those countries. They're trying to get to Austria and Germany and France. And I'm Emma Schultz, and you're watching The W.